Hey guys, this is Steve with Tronix Fix, and today I'm going to show you how to replace the laser in your disk drive in your PS4 game console. Now before we get to this repair, we need to talk about how to know if you actually need it or not. Now the main thing that indicates that you need the laser replaced in your disk drive is if you put your disk in, if you make sure it's clean first, and you put your disk in your drive, and it will usually spin up or make some funny noises or something, and then at some point it'll say unrecognized disk or some other error like that, or it just simply won't read. If that's the case and there are no other problems known with your game console, then you likely need to replace the laser. So if your PS4 refuses to read any disc you put in it, then this video might be for you. Another thing to keep in mind is this method works for any of the PS4 models, the original, the slim, or the pro. The first thing you're going to need to do is remove the disc drive out of the game console. Now I already have mine removed for this video today, but if you need to know how to do yours, you can simply look up one of my teardown videos on my channel. There's a search bar, so just type in the model of your PS4 and put the word tear down after that in the search bar on my channel and it'll come up and you'll be able to see how to do a tear down. So now let's get started replacing the laser on our disk drive. Now the tools that I use for this job are a Phillips screwdriver, a small flathead screwdriver, and of course you're going to need the laser part for your disk drive. Now you're gonna to need to make sure and purchase a laser that's for the actual disk drive that you have. So make sure when you're doing the search for that, that you put in the model of your PS4 when you're searching for the laser. I will have a link to all the products and parts and tools I use in the description below. So you can just click on that and find everything I use in this video. This is how the disk drive will look when you get it removed. What I always do is draw a line on the sticker right here so I can see when I go to put this sticker back where it goes on this ribbon cable. Cause this ribbon cable, once removed the sticker will be able to move back and forth. We need to get it about right in the same place or there may not be enough play down under this top case for the laser to move back and forth. So I just draw a line right there with a sharpie as we're going to remove this sticker next. I'm going to go ahead and get you guys zoomed in so you can see exactly what I'm doing. So what I'm going to do first is move, remove this sticker from this ribbon cable. So to do that you just pull up on the ribbon cable that will loosen the sticker and then you need to pull the sticker away from the cable carefully as you don't want to pull too much on this, this ribbon cable and damage it. So what I do is just pull up like this. I pull the sticker back and then I kind of roll it under itself and stick it back to the top case. That way it's out of the way, but it is still there for when I reinstall the ribbon cable. Next, we need to remove all the screws around this top case and this is the case for all PS4 disc drives. So we'll do that next. For this part, it's great to use a magnetic tip screwdriver because sometimes these screws are hard to get all the way out of these little wells that they're in, so I do recommend that. For anyone that's curious, this is the manual eject screw under here. If you use this manual eject screw and then you notice um, a lot of ticking noises when your discs are going in and out, it's likely because these little plastic tabs have been bent down and they're rubbing on the gears inside. So if that's the case, you can always just remove this entirely. It's not going to hurt anything and then that will take care of that noise. Now that these screws are removed, we're going to remove this ribbon cable from here so it doesn't get caught in the way when we remove the cover. So we just need to pull this off of the sticky tape right there. And then we also need to remove it from the back right there. And then just fold that down out of the way. Next we'll remove this and we'll remove the rear of the cover first and then slide it back and then you can see it slides out. Now we don't actually need to remove this entire ribbon cable from the case. We just need to flip the case open and you'll see right here is the laser and we just need to disengage this clip right here and then remove the ribbon cable from the laser. And I'm just going to use my fingernail to clip it open and then just pull gently and it comes right out just like that. And then we can move this aside. I always leave the ribbon cable on that top case just so it's really easy to put back on once we get this laser removed. Now just for anyone who's curious, this is the motor that turns these gears which make the rollers turn and pull your discs in and eject them when you're trying to eject the disc out of the console. Now with all the screws removed, we can remove the laser carrier from the disc drive and we just pull up on it. There's actually no screws that are holding this in 
And you can see it's held on with these rubber pieces. Make sure those stay installed. That keeps it from vibrating and makes it nice and smooth for reading the discs. Now that this is removed, we can move the rest, rest of the disc drive out of the way. And now we just have the carrier with this laser assembly right here. You can see if we turn it over, this is the actual laser right here. So this is the part we need to replace. So this is the carrier for the PS4 Pro. This is the carrier for most other models of PS4 console. To remove the laser from this, you need to disengage this tab and this tab and remove this bar and then the laser can come out and I'll show you how to do that next. So this is where we use our small flathead screwdriver and you need to get it under this and pry up and push out at the same time until that loosens this clip. And then you need to do the same thing on the other side right here. Just like that. And now those two clips are removed and we can flip it over. And then this bar is gonna be loose. So we can move the bar out from here like this and then kind of flip it up like that. And then you can see it's fairly easy to get the bar out like this. So we need to get this bar all the way out and it actually loosens the entire laser, which is fine. We need to pull the bar out like that. And then you have the entire laser removed. If you're putting on a new laser, this will likely need to be removed as they usually don't come with this. So you just remove this and put it onto the new laser. So once you have the new laser, it will look like this. What you need to do is install the laser back onto this bar first. Then you need to take this bar and install it back on as well. This bar needs to go through this piece right here. It's got a hole in it just for it. And then we keep sliding the bar back. We make sure this white piece is installed correctly over this worm gear. And then we push the bar back under this metal piece and then push the bar all the way back. And now it's fully installed and now we just need to put these clips back on. To install those clips, we orient it like this and I slide them right over these two uh, kind of dimples right here. And then I just slide it on with my finger until it clicks in and there we go. Same thing with this one. And there we go. Now this laser is fully installed. Now it's time to install the laser in the PS4 Pro disk drive carrier. This one's a little bit different than the other models as it has one clip right here that we have to disengage and then we'll have to put it back in once we're done. I use this small flathead screwdriver to disengage this clip and we need to just basically move it outside of this black plastic piece right here. So that will disengage it. And I'm gonna put my finger over it because we don't want the clip flying out of the area here. Now once we have it mostly out of the way, I'm going to keep my finger over it and keep get it and keep disengaging it. And there we have it. I'm going to use a pair of tweezers just to remove it fully. And there's the clip. With that clip removed, we can move this bar back just like this. And then once you start moving this bar back, we will need to remove this little piece of adhesive so we can fully move the bar all the way back and out of the way. Now this is a ribbon cable for this spin motor, so you do need to be very, very careful when removing this adhesive. Now I'm using a small metal screwdriver to remove the adhesive and gently pry this cable up. But you have to be very, very, very careful as using something metal on this can e very easily damage this ribbon cable. Now that we have that up out of the way a little bit, we can move this bar backward the rest of the way and then just pull the bar completely out. With the bar removed, we can move this laser up and out of the way. And then we can install the new laser right onto this rail and then back onto this worm gear. As with the other laser, you do need to replace this white piece, likely, if you're getting a new laser. So keep that in mind. But once that's installed, then we'll need to put the bar back under the ribbon cable, 
line up all the holes and just slide it all the way through. And that's what it should look like with the bar all the way back in. Now the tricky part can be getting this clip back in, but just make sure it's oriented correctly and then you can push it down into its groove. And this is a good way to get it started. You put the back kind of down in the clip first, and then this straight piece will wanna move and push under the clip. There's a little clip right here that needs to be pushed under. So that clip has been pushed underneath this piece right here, and now it's fully installed, and we are done with replacing the laser on our PS4 Pro disk drive. And now you know how to replace the laser in your PS4 disk drive. If you guys have any comments or questions, let me know in the comment section below. I'll be hanging out for about an hour or so after this video goes live to answer any questions you have, and I'll try and keep an eye on the video throughout the weeks and months ahead so I can answer any questions that come up. Once again, any parts, tools, or supplies you need for this repair are located at the link in the description below, so just click on that and it'll take you right to my Amazon store. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like it and consider just subscribing if you like this type of video. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.